Hey, this is Nitro Trey here, and welcome to World of Warships. As we are back with Return of Operations, as this was on the public test server probably two weeks ago, and we are looking at the Return of Operation uh, Hermes, if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. And this was an operation I was really um, excited for after I had played it uh, a couple times, particularly because I really wanted to run a cruiser or just a ship in general that had fantastic uh, AA. Um, and so I got really lucky and taking D7 Provincian, uh, as she is quite up for the task when, as I have a bit of an AA build going on with this ship. So, uh, cause you have a 6.9 kilometer AA range and you can see that a lot of AA, of course, but we were able to pick out five of those planes as we also with uh, Doom Beagle in the Indianapolis here. So Operation Hermes is a PVE scenario uh, in which we are escorting a French ship. So there's a French battleship, uh, this one right beside us, the Alsace, the um, Rouen, Rouen uh, whose holds are full of gold. And so we need to escort this ship past attacking German ships and out of the action area. But there's a storm brewing and weather conditions frequently appear on the battlefield. So um, we are have to escort this Alsace. Essentially, all the way you can see the icon is on A4. Um, sometimes it's changed, sometimes I, I've seen it before, I think on E1, I think is also we take it before. So we have to uh, escort Alsace across the map uh, safely. So you can see our primary task is, of course, escorting the battleship to the designated sector. We have some secondary tasks to make sure that Ron doesn't lose more than 50% of her hit points. And then another secondary task is that have at least three allied uh, battleships survive, okay? So when we're looking uh, at our team lineup, there are seven of us. We have aircraft carrier, one battleship, uh, four cruisers, and a destroyer. So basically, uh, I'll just highlight some things as we go uh, throughout here. Now note, Wargaming may change some things in regards to this operation before it hits uh, the live servers soon. Um, but for now, this is what uh, Operation Hermes looks like. So when we start off here, we have this enemy force that pushes um, from the H line in towards us. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna get that kill, so that's why I looked away. And then you have another opposing force uh, that comes down from along behind the island on the nine line. So the EF uh, nine where they're come down and so it's important to try to focus them as of course any of the uh, incoming enemy task uh, force groups uh, moving in here. So I have to watch where we're going but one of the reasons why I was kind of mentioning that I really like being able to take an AA type cruiser or AA type ship uh, here in Operation Hermes is because there's gonna be so many air enemy aircraft uh, coming later on in this battle as we move up to the DE line. So until then, you're just gonna have to wait and see <laughs> what all the excitement is about uh, when that time comes. So um, what I really like about the D7 Provincia, as you've seen me already future it in, uh oh, what was the other operation that I featured last week? It was Cherry Blossom with USS Rochester, and then the Ultimate Frontier, because um, which we had a pretty good game with D7 Provincia there. Um, is it's a light cruiser, so one of the few tier eight cruisers that has a heal. In addition, we get an engine boost, uh, but with being Dutch premium cruiser, we also get access to. Uh, the airstrike. So we get three airstrikes, but they're in a very short radius. Um, they're not as a larger square box like some of the other Dutch cruisers have. Um, so pretty nice overall. And also the AA. So this has just been, to me, um, I've been enjoying playing um, this cruiser more and more uh, as I think it ended up being a pretty good dockyard ship uh, when Wargaming brought it back in. So now I have to proceed through the thunderstorm. And it'll be harder for... Um, the enemy to hit our ships because um, being in a thunderstorm it affects dispersion and stuff but so we have these uh four battleships over here uh, bismarck tirpitz fdg palmeran uh, so it's going along with the the role of that we we're being attacked by german ships who want to get our ship with gold 
So basically we're going to be running up along here if we're going to be spamming um, HE. And we get the secondary task to destroy five enemy battleships that has now appeared. So we have these four over here we can focus. Um, we can alternate between our high explosive. We can alternate between our airstrike. Uh, we're going to be focusing on setting as much fires as possible. So when someone DCPs, one of the bots DCPs, we switch to another bot um, and start dropping uh, some additional uh, HE strikes as well. So one of the things in my role and what I'm aiming to do in this battle is because I know there's going to be a ton of carriers, a ton of planes coming at us. Um, I am trying to be the one the furthest north to intercept uh, the enemy aircraft uh, when they do come up. So um, so we get the little <laughs> notes to uh, select a priority A sector to increase damage. So they're kind of noting that, yeah, you're going to have aircraft coming in here uh, pretty shortly. So because um, I'm kind of deciding if I want to keep going up the 6-7 line or maybe I'm going to swing around over to the 4-5 line. So I'm going to keep the HE spam going. Um, we haven't used any engine boost yet either. We haven't needed to since we're ahead of everyone. Um, but we'll keep, of course, pump out the airstrikes in addition to the high explosive. Um, so really you focus on fire setting uh, with these guns and they're, they do pretty decent damage as well. Um, I can't remember the caliber of guns right now as I'm sitting here recording this video. I have to look it up again. Um, da, 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 da. Hundred fifty two millimeter guns. Okay. So now you're beginning to see the aircraft coming in. We have this ion between us and them. So basically I, I go ahead and pop my engine boost and I wanna get out here um and put myself between our team and the, the the plane. So you're gonna see our plane damage, which you can see is at 37, 30, 40,000 now. It's just gonna keep ticking. Like it's gonna go up uh, very high by the time this game ends. Uh, so if you're playing something like a Kulsik, um, which has very poor A, British tier 8 premium destroyer, like you're not gonna be contributing much in terms of the A defense, of course. Um, but when you start taking uh, these different ships uh, maybe that have really good A, like even USS Rochester um, would be very good for this operation because she has excellent AA as an American tier eight um, Oregon class cruiser. So we're kind of slowed down for now. I'm trying to figure out, is it fine for me to keep going up north this way? Uh, we've dealt with the first wave, so 15 aircraft and 87,000 plane damage. And if you like shooting down planes, like this is a very satisfying operation to play by the time uh, we get done here. So that's one of the reasons why uh, I like coming into this since, you know, carriers tend to be where gaming's uh, most treasured and uh, babysat class um, here in the game. So when you can just take some of that sweet tasting uh, of revenge out on planes in the game, especially an operation like this that's designed to throw a lot of aircraft at you, uh, it's quite quite satisfying. So I'm still waiting, like, is there gonna be more? And here come the Luftwaffe. So we have some dive bombers. We have some dive bombers to the south. Oh, there's another squadron. Go ahead and select the AA party sector. There's another one. So we just have a wave of them coming now, right? Uh, so we're going, oh, there's more. <laughs> so they are definitely targeting us. Uh, at least these two are. And there's some, uh, apparently some Dutch airstrike with Comrade decided to drop over towards me. Because basically what's gonna happen next is we're gonna have uh, some more enemy ships coming from the north here uh, off of the two, three line. Um, so kind of going wide here and you can begin to see the ships uh, appearing on the map. And we're gonna have to be taking some evasive maneuvers here. But we can see about going ahead and drop some uh, airstrikes. Now, when I do utilize the airstrikes, sometimes I take a, a test run. So I drop that one. I'm trying to see if I led enough and I didn't quite lead enough. So I might try to add some more onto the next airstrike. So that's just tend to be how I approach. Now, the um, the bot CVs, uh, they're not, or planes, 
They're not necessarily the best at landing strikes because we kind of did that uh, with ease um, for the most part. Uh, but we're going to continue uh, to just try to see what we can do support because basically what's going to happen here is that these uh, ships are going to turn more on the B7 line and head east. Um, but for now they're going, or maybe you can be down the C line. Uh, but for now we're going to just try to do what we can to keep focusing them from this angle. So um, we're trying to dish out the damage that we can from this perspective. Uh, versus just following with the rest of the team. It uh, gives us the ability to create somewhat of a crossfire here as we get our first heal off. And our uh, airstrike finishes off the Siegfried. And now that we have the rune and the Maximilman <laughs> in the background. So if you're looking for a mental break, again, when these operations come back into the game, it's quite nice. Also to the fact that they've kind of expanded the tiers that you can take. So, um, you know, from tier six, you have tier six to tier eight. So you can, you could specifically select this operation if only if you did it with a division. Um, but otherwise, uh, how they had it set up was that you had to do, um, it randomly switch and change the ops each time um, you played. But I'm trying to use these airstrikes on the Maximilman because they can do significant damage to a CV if my memory serves me correctly. So we're already up to 175,000 damage here. And so again, that's kind of the, the focus of when you uh, are setting fires. And I was kind of like, you know, I'm getting a little close here. So we're going to pop the next heal. Um, apparently we missed one of our airstrikes on the enemy CV. So we're going to kind of angle out here and we have more dive bombers coming in so 32 planes now over a quarter million plane damage that number you can just see is just rapidly increasing more and more and more so what's nice to me about the d7 province here if you're taking a dutch cruiser um particularly d7 province here just because of how fast the airstrike time uh cooldown time is reloading um is that you often have you can just keep alternating back and forth, so it's to me it's not a passive class where I'm shooting and I'm having to wait 30 seconds uh, for the next um, HE AP salvo to reload. Um, but it's kind of high tempo, so I kind of like it, especially when you're dealing with the, all you can see on the mini map these five uh, HE uh, or five dive bomber squadrons flying all around me behind. <laughs> so get that AA sector prioritized. So. Um, yeah, 23 planes plus the 34 planes, so there's just a lot of planes as we're over 460,000 plane damage now, so yeah, it's pretty fun uh, when you're going to shoot to uh, carry planes down. So now we have a Hipper, we have a York, we have a Munchen in the background there, so trying to finish off that last DD up to the north, um, in addition to, looks like two more destroyers out and about. So getting really close to half a million plane damage. But I think we're going to actually end up there. There's not, not going to be any more planes uh, coming at us from this point on. So as 68 planes, almost a half a million damage, uh, two planes, with now over 200,000 damage. Um, so typically with operations, when you're playing them, cruisers tend to shine the most just because of having a higher DPM, um, a faster uh, rate of fire uh, when you're shooting a lot of these cruisers and destroyers or, or battleships, um, especially when you're going for the damage in terms of having a lot of fire. So we've already set 20 fires already, so uh, we should have a nice uh, chunk of fire damage by the time we get to the end of this battle. Um, but it looks like they're kind of beginning to focus us a little bit more um, because we're uh, rather close here, of course. But you can see on the mini map that uh, the battleship we're escorting is getting really close to the, the A line um, to be able to exit. Because basically, what happened is that Alsace will exit the map border <laughs> um, and leaving towards uh, its retreating point. So we take down the Hipper, and now we're going to be focusing on the Munchen here. And he's about to go down because of how much of our team is focusing fire on him here. This is also probably a, a decent map if you, if you want to take a tier 8 
aircraft carry in with secondaries or you just want to be able to uh, soak up um, plane damage um, or with your AA guns on your carrier and kind of take an aggressive position up here. But you just have to be mindful just because you're a very large target um, versus something smaller here like the D7 Provincia. So uh, we have a bit of a size factor going for us where we're not quite taking as much uh, damage here. So uh, if you notice on the secondary task when we're talking about chat, destroy enemy battleships four or five, only four appeared. Um, there should have been a fifth one that spawned, but it did not. Uh, so that was probably a, a Ouija glitch there. And so I was looking at that when uh, the guy from the EU made a comment on wondering why that fifth battleship did not spawn. So, um, so I got some bugs and, uh, you know, we're gaming. Nothing wrong with our servers. <laughs> so you can see there's the Alsace. He's about to exit the map border. And then I just wanted to dump all of my uh, HE strikes on top of the other. Let's see what that looked like. But um, yeah, so if you like shooting down planes, uh, Operation Hermes, Hermes is the op for you. Um, and just being able to get yourself in a position where you can do a lot of damage to the planes and that you have the enemy planes focusing you. So very good in general for that. So these ops coming back um, is a very good thing. Wargaming has definitely dragged their feet and bringing them back into World of Warships. But to have them back again, I think is really good because they took them out right when I started playing uh, World of Warships. So we have successfully completed our operation, but we're not gonna be able to get all of our secondary tasks achieved because the fifth enemy battleship did not spawn. So there you have it. So, this is what our post-battle results look like with our personal score of over 230,000 damage with 68 plane shot down, only three destroyed, and 22 uh, set on five ribbons. We're gonna take almost 1,500 base experience on the team score. And then transitioning to the detailed report, uh, we're gonna see airstrike 64,000 damage, fires 50,000, uh, HE shells 117,000, um, so definitely a little fire starter here with the D7 Provincia. Um, you're just uh, focusing on dishing out a lot of damage. So most of our kills all happened um, there at the end um, of the match and operation. So with premium account, 312,000 credits. I'm not sure. I don't think I was running um, the best of the best um, economic bonuses in terms of the credits, experience, free XP, and commander XP. But this isn't gives you an idea of what you can expect when this operation lands in on the live servers uh, pretty soon. I think it was gonna be in 11.8 that this drops. So it's very good to see these operations come back and give players a little bit more freedom and choice uh, with the different operations to play. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do wanna see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.